Today we're gonna get ready and talk a little bit about what really self-care is and how to practice self-care in your daily daily life. How can self-care be part of your life even when you have like busy days, a lot of things to do, you're working or not working. And also I will be sharing shoes that I wear for work, comfortable shoes, school shoes that you can get yourself work self-care it is most of the time we think that to have like self-care we have to prepare everything or have everything prepared or have everything organized and to have everything set it up so we can have like this self-care day or self-care time yeah you can prepare your self-care time or self-care day but self-care is something that has to be part of your daily daily life regardless if you're working or not working it is good for self-care to be part of your life because once self-care is part of your daily life you're going to be a more happy person you're going to be more productive you're going to love yourself more because not only you're doing the things that you're supposed to do during the day or working, studying, but you're also taking care of yourself. Self-care is not only doing skincare, but also mentally, physically, how you see yourself, how your schedule is, how you live. That's part of your self-care journey and self-care life. Sometimes we are so busy with work and life that we forget to have a little bit of time for ourselves. whether it's waking up very early in the morning and just have this time for yourself time for you and just you or coming home earlier starting a day earlier so you can come back home earlier and having your self-care just relaxing and enjoying yourself and spending time with your family and enjoying life self-care is also people around you they're part of your self-care journey your family is part of your self-care journey your friends are part of your self-care journey anything that makes you feel good is part of your self-care like for example this day has been uh, super hard for me to like wake up early especially because it's summer during summer it is super hard to wake up early but the only thing that gets me is because i know that i have to go to work if i was in my holiday i would be still sleeping until you now maybe on but during summer it is so easy for you to get carried away with the time and then you don't have like the time to take care of yourself especially when you're working or if you're not yet on your holidays so you can also start a routine that can help you to take care of yourself too because if you don't have self-care or balance things in life you're going to have burnout a lot of burnout too often mental breakdown and something that i have been learning with my mother and my work colleagues is that when you're at work you focus only in work things but then when you leave work you literally have to totally disconnect yourself from work or school whatever that is otherwise your mental health won't be good you're going to start having a bad mental health and you're going to start feeling burnouts and depressed and all of the feels are going to happen like during the work time or study time that stress can be at work at school and then when you're home you totally disconnect yourself from that stress and try to resolve the stress next day when you arrive to work or school whatever because even if you're stressed about it and there's really nothing much that you can do towards the situation or the tasks you're just gonna end up feeling worse you're just gonna end up feeling useless you're just gonna end up worrying yourself pretty much so it's good to learn to have balance in everything 
and also especially these days now that things are so hard and you have to do a lot of things or things has to be go fast and like people are constantly on a rush you have to literally learn to know your limits and also to know what are your goals like once you know your goals and know where you're trying to head on where you're trying to go it is going to be also easy for you to have a better schedule and also have your own time it is good to have your own time whether it's 30 minutes every day or at least maximum 30 minutes i will say it's better or if you can you can do it like an hour just like having this time sometimes i forget that doesn't mean that you have to do like any skincare you can just have that time like reading a book or doing something that you enjoy whether it's going to the gym or doing anything really that might seem silly for others or for you it is something that you enjoy something that makes you feel stress-free something that makes you feel happy and you don't have the time to do it and doing your self-care minutes or self-care hour it will be you are able to do that and enjoy the thing that you don't do self-care for you can mean another thing and self-care for me can mean another thing and for me self-care is taking care of my mental health spending time with my family with the ones that love me and doing things that i love to do spending time with god being stress-free not stressing about things that i can control not stressing about things that i can't do anything that's my self-care because i learned that stressing about things that you can control that you can do is not going to change anything as i always say it's only going to make it worse you have to think like okay if i stress about it what is it going to change i'm going to stress about the whole week the whole week my whole week or my whole day will be growing and then what isn't it better for me to try to relax and then next day i will try to fix the situation or if i can fix it now if i will feel better if i fix it now i will try the way to fix it now and then get over it and sometimes i learned that you can think this way that i'm going to try to get rid of this thing now and then get over it you might not be able to get over it you're gonna end up the whole day the whole night the whole evening just focusing in this thing because you just want to get over it so fast you have to learn that not everything has to be done so fast if it's a task that you have to do it the same day yeah you have to like figure out how to do or ask and everything but if it's something that you can take your time know that not everything can do in one day not even the world got built in one day so don't expect you to know everything or to get everything done in your life or resolve, resolve it in one day even if you have a task during the day or a goal during the day you might have that i have to clean the house do the laundry clean my room work groceries you're gonna notice that in your to-do list you're gonna end up doing only three tasks for example just clean the house groceries clean the house groceries and then maybe start watching uh, maybe doing laundry or halfway the laundry and that's okay you don't need to stress about it you started at least you achieved something in your task you did you cleaned the house you did the groceries and then the next day you can continue with the laundry you can continue with the rest that it's in your task because if you keep on doing things that are going to make you feel burned out are going to ruin your mental health when you get sick or when you get depressed or when you get burned out nothing will be able to be fixed you won't be able to do anything and in the end of the day the only ones that will care about your health are the ones that are around you the ones that loves you and sometimes you do not realize that during this time when you're burned out you're you're not feeling good you're feeling sick because of how rough you have been with yourself because of how you have beaten yourself you're gonna realize that sometimes during those times you're going to be alone and you have tried to do everything for everyone and being there for everyone and doing all the tasks 
and no one will be there when you're sick or when you're not feeling well but also can be the other way around people will be there but also can be that no one will be there we all know that sometimes in bad moments you're always alone so try as much as you can to have a healthy life it is important to have a healthy life not to kill yourself i know sometimes you want things to be our ways and know sometimes we have tasks we have goals but we have to learn to let to know that not everything we're going to be able to achieve not everything that we're going to be able to do we're gonna have to learn to have balance in life we're gonna have to learn also to put ourselves first sometimes we're gonna have to learn to put ourselves first sometimes putting yourself first sometimes that doesn't mean that you're selfish it's just that you're taking care of you because if you don't no one will so taking care of yourself it is very important and it is not selfish if you're not doing it with selfish purposes <laughs> but if you're just doing that thinking about your mental health thinking about your health that's the most important thing and sometimes if you have like a flexible job that you can be at the office you can be remote it is also good so sometimes you take like a remote day, like a day that you can just work remotely, relaxing, working, relaxing at your desk, doing something relaxing, working at your couch just with a blanket and your laptop. Just like really just relaxing, like a doing nothing day, just sitting on your couch with your blanket and your laptop working and a tea or coffee or just at the desk with your blanket sitting and then just like having like this flexible work time or hour whatever you call and sometimes something that I learn sometimes when I don't know something or I did something or I don't know something or something happened I like to beat myself up too much but I learned that sometimes it is okay not to know something and it is okay not to be good at something you just have to learn and then just figure out from from there and then ask for like tips ask for like help ask for like guidance like it is good to ask guidance and the other thing that i learned it is good to speak like if you're not able to do a task or if you're feeling like this is too much for you it is good to like speak hey can someone help me can someone take like a little bit of part i would do and then a the little bit of part i would do like having like this uh, work around like this environment that you can just speak with your team hey I'm doing this, but I'm feeling like a bit like this. Can someone else cut back up, back me up, or anything in general? So it's good also to speak up if you need help, because sometimes you might be afraid, like oh, if I ask for anything. But sometimes when you ask, you will find people that will help you, and then back you up in whatever you're doing, and help you not to feel too stressed. I will show you guys one of the outfits that I wore a few weeks that I style with different shoes that I wear at work. I'm, I'm so happy and excited to do like showing what footwear I wear to work. And also I'm doing like a different thing because there's just sometimes that I'm just gonna wear the whole with ballerinas because I'm going to feel like more comfortable. There's sometimes that I'm just gonna wear the whole week like a comfortable sneakers. So I usually go with how I feel during the week. If I'm feeling like more like having like a more laid back, more calm week, I'm going to wear more calmly. Like I will wear formal but not too formal and then just have a more calm laid back shoes. This outfit I wore during Monday, I think last last week. And as for this outfit, I went on with those ballerina. For some reason, I'm loving a lot ballerina that are like 
those this color and I saw my sister had one of those that I was wearing and I loved it so much and I got it for me because I always like to go with like when it comes to shoes I will go with black or white or sometimes I'll go with like a cute pink or blue features but I saw this, this ballerina and because even though it's this color I always thought that maybe it's something that won't go with everything but this is like wearing a black ballerina it goes well with absolutely absolutely everything so this is one of the ballerina that I wear when I want to go for like a more calm laid back I wear with the trousers and sometimes I wear with the skirt I wear with the dress I pretty much wear this with everything so I don't have anything that I wore it already and didn't look good with it yet but I'm also gonna show some photos of like some of it that I have wore I'll show you guys how it looks like and at work I wore this one because I sometimes change and I go with this and then I wear with like it pretty much goes well with trousers it doesn't go very good with dress but it goes very well with skirts so whenever I wear a skirt or trousers I wear this if I'm not feeling too comfortable using shoes or when I'm at my desk I stay like with no shoes but when I'm walking around the office I put my shoes and just walk around and put my shoes on but the only time I will be barefoot not barefoot like with socks just with no shoes is when I'm wearing like a dress or skirt or anything and then I'm wearing ballerina but if I'm wearing sneakers I'm just gonna be with the sneakers the whole day because I don't feel like removing it's just too much work I have this cute dress that I really enjoy wearing and it's just like the most comfortable dress I have ever worn in my life and then I go with this shoes this is very cute it's like a ballerina but like it's like half open and it's just super cute this one is not as comfortable as the other one that I wore but the reason why it's not too comfortable is because of the height here because it feels like you're wearing a heel even though this is like a small like a small heel and then the other one is just very flat you don't feel anything and that's why this one is not too it is comfortable but not too comfortable to wearing to wear the whole day or this with this excuse. I'm gonna show you guys how it really looks like this shoes I love styling it mostly with dresses because it's like very super chic and stylish it gives this very chic and stylish look in the outfits that you wear it's mostly like ballerina but like a more stylish way and it goes very well with skirts and dress that's what i have pretty much dressed with but also with chino pants it also goes perfectly i will show you guys also another way that i wore with this shoes which i really love was also with the was actually with the chino pants and, and then i love styling with this my mazzana lee's button down or button up shirt i love the shirt because it's very stylish also it's cute flowers and also it has like those cute pearls which is super cute and gives like this more feminine cute outfit style and then for this i go with the sneakers i go with the sneakers like this because with this trouser you can't barely see anything This is one of my favorite sneakers that I love and enjoy styling it with pretty much all long trousers that I have. I just love styling it and looking like more laid back and more like I feel more comfortable and all stylish but at the same time with like a sneakers that really 
might not make sense with the outfit that I'm wearing, but it also makes it look fashionable, classic, chic at the same time, which I really love. It's one of the looks that I enjoyed wearing during last week. This is like a Gino linen pants and it's super stylish especially now since it's summer i'm going for more like summer style summer outfit but in more like a work wear and then more formal colors which i'm not a person who likes too much color so that's one of the reasons my outfit i don't own so many outfits that has too much color because i don't like too much color I like colors but not a lot and then I go with this and then later on I went on with this one like after like the day I went in the morning I went with this and then doing like the day I wore this and then until I got home I was just wearing this I was just wearing this during the morning like running around the office and then just during the day when it was more calm I was with this one and I just came home with this one I don't feel like they're comfortable enough but for some people it might be but for me I don't enjoy wearing them a lot they're stylish but not as comfortable as wearing a ballerina whenever I wear trousers like this those it's higher trousers, I guess. I don't remember the name. Those high waist, you know, pants, you know, trousers. I always use them with a ballerina or with this sneakers. The sneakers are very comfortable. So usually for me, it depends on the weather. If the weather is cloudy or raining, I will go with the sneakers. And if the weather is like sunshiny, beautiful, I will go with the ballerina. I only wear sneakers during spring and summer. And then around fall and winter, I use more like boot, classic boots. Like I only go with mostly boots during that time. And then sneakers, I just wear around this time. I'm not like a sneakers fan. I like wearing sneakers, but it's not something that I love that much. So I'm not a fan of sneakers. Whenever I wear those chino pants, I like to wear high shoes. So the sneakers, it is high sneakers and is so so comfortable it's like the most comfortable shoes i have ever wore i feel like i'm not wearing a shoes at all this is like super comfortable and whenever i wear this I forget that i'm wearing shoes i prefer wearing high shoes because it makes it look more stylish and also when wearing a low shoes makes you feel more petite and makes you look more short but whenever you wear like a high shoes it gives like a perfect like height or perfect you know just stays in point <laughs> this outfit is one of my favorite i really love this trousers this is a dead pants and this pants i got like it's like two years old and i love this pants it's like one of the pants that i love wearing during summer spring fall winter you name it it's like my to go to and this is a pants that looks good with everything so whenever i'm styling like this i go with this is my shirt that i usually do my bottom shirt style and it's so big so whenever i'm not styling it i just wear it as a coat i will wear this like to go to the office and then come back home going for groceries or going out in the streets wherever i will wear this sneakers if i buy a sneakers or if i buy a shoes it's not because i like buying shoes or i like buying this it's because i find it cute everything that i like i find it cute regardless what it is i'm going to buy it not because it's trendy or not because someone else has it i'm going to buy it because i found it cute and it's my style and i like it i usually just go with things that i like and that i find beautiful So yeah, I hope you enjoy the shoes that I have been wearing during those few weeks. They're like my to-go-to shoes and like my favorite shoes to wear during summer. And those are like few that I 
Like I had in mind like sharing something that I wear too often and I hope that this video was enjoyable and that you guys found like the tips and what we have shared about that it can like do an impact in your life and change in your life and remember that self-care is a routine is a habit that you have to create because self-care is not something that you're just gonna have to do it when you're feeling like burnout when you're feeling down or when you're not feeling good so Care is something that you have to start doing now so it won't cause any damage it won't cause any burns out any anything bad in the future so it's always good to prevent yourself and prepare yourself and take care of yourself and slow down okay you have to walk you have to walk you cannot climb to the next Step or to the next journey you have to walk until you get into your next journey like it is good to learn to take every one step at a time in everything in your life and sometimes just take a time to breathe to relax when you're feeling stressful and to calm down and just think like just calm down and think okay what can i do towards this situation how can i change it because whenever you're stressed you can't do anything when you are stressed so learn to like calm down and know that you can't change the world or change your life or achieve all your goals in seven days um or just in one day so take your time take step by step know that some people will go forward before you some people will go faster some people will go slower some people will go in their own time just because someone else is going faster and you're going slower doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong and doesn't mean that you're less of a person so we are all here in this world with our own journey some people's journey will be different than others some journeys will be a bit similar some journey will be it will take longer some journey will go faster and just know that we all have our journey we all have our goals in life the best thing to do to have a successful and stress-free life is having a goal and knowing that your goal you're going to achieve it step by step you're not going to achieve everything at once and enjoy while you are at going to working towards your goal don't forget to enjoy don't forget to have fun don't forget to spend time with your loved ones don't forget to travel if you can don't forget to do things that you love don't forget to be happy <laughs> just happiness it's sometimes it's not a big thing we think that to be happy has to be something so big once i saw this video that was a very beautiful video those two brothers were their birthday and then the mother didn't have so many money so she took them to mcdonald and then she bought this small cake from this store and you should see how happy those boys were like happiness it is something that it comes is it within you you cannot be happy even if you have a car house you will only be happy when the happiness starts with you when you start to appreciate every little things that you have in your life so when you appreciate every little things and be happy in the little things be happy in the little steps be happy in the little goals you're going to be happy in the big things don't think that oh i'm not happy now because i'm i have those little stuff but when i have something better or something bigger i'm going to be happy you won't you will be miserable because you are just waiting for that time don't wait in the perfect time or the perfect day or the perfect year or when your goals has been achieved leave now and do your goals and your future your goals will follow you wherever you go and the plans for God in your life will come one day so it doesn't matter how long it takes you can see everyone in the Bible they lived what God has promised and some did not according to how they lived so that's it for today I hope that this video was helpful and that you can implement those chats and tips and advice in your life and remember nobody's perfect and just be you until next time ciao